All the video you just saw was shot from this quad I call the Cine Sport. It's a variation of my Cine X frame kit that can be found on my website. I'm using the Avroto 3515 400 kV motors from Monto RC and 45 amp ESCs. It's controlled by a NASA M light and everything is powered off four 3000 mAh 3S LiPos that are wired together to make a 6000 mAh 6S LiPo. The GoPro Hero 4 is attached to this built-in isolated plate to provide vibration-free footage. Under that is the 100 watt LED light bar from my previous video. It's powered off an 1800 mAh 3S LiPo that's attached to the rear boom. Even in direct sunlight, you can still see the light from the LEDs pretty well. They are very bright. With this setup, I get about 12 minutes of flight time. I have a CCD camera mounted under the GoPro and a 400 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter in the back for FPV. It flies very well, apart from the fact that the NASA M light struggles just a little bit with the funky layout. This frame along with the Cine X are available on my website. See the link in the description for more info. Thanks for watching, bye. But wait, there's more. Here's some random video I found on my hard drive of some little twin engine planes that never really flew that well. Oh wow, lots of gyro shakes. I don't even know what happened, it like, well in the crash this little bearing popped out so I don't think we can fly it again right now, but that was really strange, it just kind of started to spin like crazy. Despite having the entire wings as ailerons, it didn't have that much control. So I just gave it more control for the roll, and now I'll try it again. Here we go. Now it does a little better. Oh, it's flying. Uh-oh.
up there is where Daniel's going. Somewhere up here. I don't, wait, where is it? Oh, um, he's right there. Then if you go way up there, there's the plane up there somewhere. So weird. I can't find it. Hello. Oh, well. oh, I'm getting under the fins to film him. Trying to. He got the plane. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Except that it landed in a tree and broke the propellers. Three, two, one. Ready? Hold really still. Oh, that was a hard landing. That was harsh. Yeah, not ideal. Three. Uh oh. Wow. Nice landing. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know what happened. Until it starts to stall. You should land it. Why? I don't know. I'm gonna try and put the wing into up mode. Wow, it doesn't work very well. I'm gonna do a flyby. I'm gonna film the flyby. What? I'm gonna film that was a landing. So it just broke, but he's flying it. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Uh-oh. Look out for that tree. It's the same tree the other one broke in. It is good. Flash well for with a broken wing. Yeah, I'm gonna try and transition the. I was kind of expecting it not to work when the wing angled down. Um, I was thinking maybe if it angled just slightly, it could work as flaps or something. But right now I have it set up to angle pretty extreme, and it's not working at all. And we did a loop too low to celebrate.